So the question is, is how do we um, divide the roles between us and how, what's the decision making process? Yeah, we don't divide the roles. Uh, we, we always show uh, one coherent uh, owner, one coherent manager, one coherent founder, one coherent CEO. Uh, we, we will always try to be together, analyze and over communicate. So we will, if it's something that I hear from somebody talking to me about an issue about technology, I typically will listen, will understand, will try to figure out an answer, but I will most probably go back, talk to Wences, define and come back. Even if we don't agree, it's the answer that I took at the time, and vice versa. And we will try to, but when you over communicate, you fix that. If you sort of divide roles, we've seen that that's a formula for, for lots of problems. Unless you guys, I mean, unless the, the partnership is well enough built that you exactly know your expertise and each one is comfortable executing on them. We, we sense that we are not good enough for that, so we need the two of us to do one good guy. <laughs> And we do it together. It's I think there are different partnerships work differently. And we, we've seen examples of, of people who work very, very differently. And it works very well for them. Um, but for us, as Mickey says, so we, we try to have the company interact with us as if we were one. And it's not that they have to come to me with marketing issues and they have to go to Mickey for um, strategic issues or what have you. They can come with either, and we know which ones I'd rather check and which ones I can just go, and, and that, that's why the sort of the over-communicating is so important. But that's just the recipe that works for us, and I wouldn't say uh, that it's the recipe that there are as many as, 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 as there are people.